about oceans, specifically the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. You've seen the pictures where there are two different colored oceans, and you might be wondering why don't they mix together and make one normally colored ocean? Well, there are three reasons to why these two oceans don't want to mix. Reason number one, salinity level. Salinity level is basic, basically the level where if something is very salty, it's very saline, and if it's not salty, it's not saline. So it basically measures the salt inside of a substance. And the Pacific Ocean is slightly more saline than the Atlantic Ocean, and that's one of the reasons why they don't mix. Usually, the difference in saline goes vertical. So, so like something down here and then up there. So the up one is less dense than the bottom one. But because the difference in, sal uh, the difference in salinity is so small, it's just enough to keep them from going up or down. And it's also just enough to keep them separated. Reason number two, the Coriolis effect. Since Earth is a big, sort of, round ball, it spins in space and, not, uh, and the water on the surface is quite loose, that means that water can flow at different speeds. And because the Earth is spinning on its axis, then the water will be spinning in different directions depending on what hemisphere it's in. So the, uh, the Pacific Ocean flow is going one way and the Atlantic Ocean flow is going another way and so their flows can't converge together and form one big ocean. So it's like, can't, they can't do it. They cannot. No, no, no. Reason number three. The surface tension of water is different in the two oceans. Surface tension is basically how strongly molecules of some substance sticks together. So water has a very high surface tension and mercury has an extremely high surface tension but alcohol has a very low surface tension. The higher the surface tension the more the molecules want to stick together. The lower the surface tension, the weaker the molecules' bonds are sticking together. <laughs> the surface tension in the Pacific Ocean is, let's say, number A, and the surface tension in the Atlantic Ocean is number B. Because number A and number B is quite different from each other, they cannot become one. It's like trying to fit a seatbelt uh, part A and a seatbelt part A. It doesn't really work out. And over time, they may be able to connect together and become one ocean. But because of the different flows and the Coriolis effect, they're always shuffling and shuffling and shuffling and they can't become one. And that's why the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean never mix. Here is the conclusion. The Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean has three different reasons why they cannot mix and become one. The Pacific Ocean has a higher salinity than the Atlantic Ocean, making it quite hard for them to become one. Reason number two is the Coriolis effect. Because Earth is constantly spinning, the different, uh, the different speeds of the water change on depending on which side of the, uh, which hemisphere of the Earth you're in. And so the flows in them are different and they cannot become one. The third reason is surface tension. The surface tension in the Atlantic Ocean and in the Pacific Ocean is different and so they cannot become one but they can slowly fuse and become together but 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 
because of the Coriolis effect, the surface tension will not be able to stabilize and connect them together. That's why they never ever 